Well, now to our series, Heroes on the Front Line. When minutes mattered most, a group of corrections officers at the Philadelphia House of Correction raced to resuscitate a co-worker who stopped breathing. Corrections officer Joan Lundy had just started her shift when she collapsed on the job. And while they waited for medics to arrive, the guards didn't miss a beat, showing their commitment went far beyond the walls of the prison. I was sitting here. It was Monday, April 15th. And I heard a loud phone. What Lieutenant Duard Spellman heard was his co-worker, corrections officer Joan Lundy, collapsing to the floor. He found her unresponsive under her desk in the dispatch room. When I came around and she was having convulsions. Spellman immediately alerted his captain to call 911. He says he and a handful of others, including officers Philip Harris and Rochelle Copeland and others, immediately jumped into action to bring her back. It's like everything stopped. And when we pulled her out and turned her over, that's when Officer Fisher says she's blue. Have you ever had to use CPR training on anyone while you're at work? No. It came in a rush. When it comes to seeing a fellow coworker, it hits hard in the chest. And I just did the CPR. And I knew it was working when I saw her gurgling. I did hear him say, Joan, are you OK? That's the only thing you anything. remember. I don't remember anything else after that. Officer Lundy says doctors told her she went into cardiac arrest. She says prior to that day, she never had any health issues and never took any medication. The mother of four and grandmother to one spent a week in the hospital before being discharged. Had it not been for those other coworkers that stepped in, where would she be? Yeah, we, we'd probably be having a different story right now. Do you think about that at times? All the time, all the time. It makes me feel forever indebted to them because it has meant so much to my children. Her children meeting some of the guards who jumped into action that day to thank them. The group, that also included nurses at the corrections facility, received recognition for their acts of heroism. A lot of people would say that their actions were heroic and they went above and beyond tearing up a little bit would it how do you how would you describe them they they were my angels um god put me in the right place at the right time before this happened because it could have happened while i was driving up the highway it could have happened while i was on the bridge with my children and it didn't it happened after i got to work surrounded by people that love me and care about me. It's not like we feel like heroes. We just, we didn't want to lose a family member. Yeah. So we did everything we did in, in, in God's plan or God's will to use us to save her. She's so fortunate. Lundy has to go back to the doctor to determine what triggered that cardiac arrest. And after that, she'll be cleared to go back to work.